right, well, hi, I'm Jody Mays. I'm one of the interpretive rangers here at Padre Island National Seashore. We are part of the National Park Service, uh, and we protect the longest stretch of undeveloped barrier island left in the world. And we have seven, seven, there are seven sea turtle species in the world. Five of those sea turtle species occur here off of Padre Island, and three of those nest here on a regular basis. <clears throat> but the main one that we get that nests here is the Kemp's Ridley sea turtle. It's the most endangered sea turtle species in the world. It's also the smallest sea turtle species in the world. And when I say smallest, this is how big it gets as an adult. This is a real sea turtle shell from an adult Kemp's Ridley sea turtle. And they weigh about 80 to 100 pounds as adults. And this is the size their shell gets. So, and this is the smallest sea turtle species in the world, which uh, is pretty amazing. And you can see on this that uh, you can see on this, if I turn it around, that this has their spine on the inside, their backbone, and their ribs coming off of here. So this is just their back. This is part of their body. It is their back, uh, and they can't take it off or anything like that, like they do in the cartoons. Same for all the turtles. Uh, so the Kemp's Ridley Sea Turtle is the smallest one. It's also the most endangered. Uh, more Kemp's Ridley Sea Turtle nests are found here in the, uh, the national park than anywhere else in the United States. We are on the north end of their nesting range. Uh, the main part of their nesting range is down in Mexico in the state of Tamaulipas in an area called Rancho Nuevo. They get thousands of nests each year, but uh, up here on the north end of their nesting range we don't get nearly as many nests. Um, this year we found 118 Kemp's Ridley Sea Turtle Nest in the state of Texas. I believe 72 of those were here in the National Park. Well, for sea, tur sea turtles, it's rough because they're going to be in their 20s, late 20s, when they actually become uh, breeding adults for the females. So it's a, it's a long time, it's a long investment of time. So do you see what you're standing on, that seaweed? That's called sargassum. It has little things that look like grapes and that floats and when these little turtles get in the ocean they will actually go straight to the sargassum and they will hide there because the first thing you want to do as a sea turtle is not get eaten and they will actually use that sargassum to actually find things to eat as well and that's what's found in the oceans all over the world
How many miles do you travel down the National Seashore Board to Port, Man Port Mansfield and back? Uh, well, from the end of our paved road to Port Mansfield to back is 60 miles. We patrol in our effort run by Padral National Seashore nearly 80 miles of beach run all the way from Bob Paul Pier down to the Mansfield Channel. And we break it into sections that are repeatedly traversed during the day. And we patrol during the day because Kemp really nests primarily during the day, unlike the other sea turtles that nest mostly at night. And how about South Padre? South Padre also has a very intensive patrol project. They're a great partner of ours in conservation efforts, and they're patrolling repeatedly during the day on the South Padre. We have other partners up and down the coast that are also patrolling, but the lion's share of nests on the Texas coast are north and South Padre. Thank you very much for this wonderful job that you do. Got it. So how many are in the clutch this morning? There were 67. They're from two different clutches, five from one nest and 62 from another nest. Thank you. And what is your name? Jody. I'm one of the interpretive rangers here. Thank you so much for coming around and showing us. No problem. Sneaking up behind you. The turtle's going to be okay. He's got a little tiny injury on the top of his head, but I don't think that's anything that's too severe. Uh, I believe he will be able to be released later this evening. And we'll usually, we'll probably do it at night. So it's not gonna be uh, available for public viewing though. But this little guy should be fine. See? Thank you for rescuing me.